think, I think this is awesome. I looked over the slides and everything that we have to do. And um, the fact that they're going to look at arguing versus debating, I think it'll be really useful for them. I don't think around here kids do have to feel like they have to hide their opinion. Kids are pretty open and honest here and they're comfortable with one another. I think we built that culture, which is really important. That is not that way in college campuses. We know that there is a potentially contentious period um, coming up. We have seen um, a similar situation before and we're about to face it again. We have to debate in there once we're done. We have to show respect, ask questions, find common ground, and listen effectively. And if one person disagrees with you, then there could be a big debate about it. These kids find a way to get fired up over any topic, so I think it'll work in here. <laughs> we have the presidential debate today, so it's just preparing us to sort of face the controversial topics. Everybody thinks they're right, but you know, very few people are. Maybe you'll see why they think that and you can change your perspectives. You have to acknowledge the other person, see where they're coming from, and then see, tell people how your point is better. It went really well, and they actually used the seeds of civility in their answer. I had this up here as they were debating, and they listened to each other, they repeated, kind of paraphrased what others were saying. My particular um, group can sometimes be a little hesitant to participate in um, act activities during roundtable, but they were so open in doing this. Um, I didn't have to beg them, they were really um, looking to volunteer and be part of it. You know what's funny? They actually asked me if we could do a class debate sometime. And they asked, let's do a hop on an issue. Let's talk about like, like death penalty or abortion. I think it's great that they're willing to have those conversations and that they want to practice that skill and that they want to get better at it. Um, it shows growth in them. How many times have we seen even adults really struggle to have um, productive, um, fair conversations with each other? Um, I don't think it's something that we have to be preaching to kids. I think it's something that we all have to practice.